today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the brand new Kid Robot Andy Warhol Dunny series. In this video, we're going to be having a look at an entire case, which will consist of 20 individual boxes for the brand new Andy Warhol Dunny series. This comes to us from the folks over at Kid Robot. And a really interesting choice as well for them to release these for the Andy Warhol designs, as these are the Dunnies, the Dunny Rabbits. But on the sides, as you can see, they are using some of the prints made famous by artists and uh, somewhat interesting character, I must say, Andy Warhol. It's funny that I'm also shooting this video now because currently I have an Andy Warhol poster calendar, a calendar in my kitchen, uh, that every month, of course, I have a different image, a different famous picture uh, done by Andy Warhol. Uh, so on the front, we've got the box majority wise is a yellow with pink. On the front it says new Andy Warhol Dunny series. And then on the side, some variations of, of uh, Warhol's designs. Made famous, the Campbell's soup can, tomato can. Different variations of that. We've got a banana. We've got money. We've got the television set. A slight rendering of uh, Andy Warhol himself. His signature. And on the other side there, Marilyn Monroe, another famous image from Andy Warhol. Again, the banana and Brillo. Finally, on the underside, flip it around there, you can go to www.kidrobot.com if you'd like to check out more. Because Kid Robot, it's designed with love. Did you know that? Um, so let's go ahead. Let's, we're going to open this up. This will be one of those videos where you want to go and grab a sandwich, something to eat. Because we're going to be doing this for a bit. We're going to open up all 20 of these and find out which Andy Warhol Dunny figures we got in each box. I'm going to need myself a knife, and I got old red here. Let's go ahead and start this video by cutting the very first box, and then we'll go from there. The first box, opening it up, we are treated to a foil bag inside. It says Dunny across there. We'll cut that open, revealing the very first Dunny in this set. And there we have the Dunny tomato, uh, tomato soup can from Campbell's, Campbell's Condensed. There's the front of it. It's been around the back. There's the back of it, Campbell's Condensed Tomato Soup. Kind of in a slight dark reddish pink and lighter pink color motif. There is posability, so the head does rotate on the Dunnies. The rest of the figure is Staction. Then on the underside, we've got Kid Robot. Good way to start. I'm looking at the packaging as well. For the majority, uh, most of these are either 1 in 20 or uh, 2 in 20. In some instances, there's 1 in 40 or 3 in 40. So perhaps like the Gold Maryland may or may not get. I'm hoping at least we do get one of the Marylands though. So we'll put the Campbell's Dunny to the side. They do stand extremely well also. I've always been a big fan of Dunnies. I really should do more Dunny reviews. Opening up box number two. A little bit of tape on the front. Hopefully my knife can alleviate that. There we go. Box number two gives us... Let's see here. Again, we have the foil bag. Let's cut that open as well. And bag number two actually gives us the same figure. Now, actually, this is a good opportunity for me as well to show you that it does have the signature of Andy Warhol on the ear. See that right there? I love the, the blue, or I guess it's more closer to a teal, the teal coloring of Campbell's Condensed, as well as the logo there, uh, backing it onto the lighter pink. I think it, the two go really well together. So we get two of those. Let's open up box number three. And box number three gives us... Oh, very nice. We have the Burlo soap pads with rust resistor, three cents off. Up the top there is 24 tens and it says new says shines aluminum fast. It's been around the run back there with Shinomatic detergent, Andy Warhol. 
Very nice, very nice. And again, head articulation. Head rotates all the way around. That's how it looks like next to the Campbell's soup. Let's put that right there. And let's open another one. Now, so it looks like Brillo, Campbell's, and the Maryland's all, oh, and then of course the, the Andes. There are two variations to each one, where two different color, color combinations. Andy Warhol's big, I guess big notable piece of his design is that he would take one existing print and then he would simply just change the color of it so that you would maybe have, for example, the Marylands, you would have different Marylands, same image, but the color would be slightly tweaked for each design. Speaking of Andy Warhol, we have the Andy Warhol Dunny itself. Signature still present on the ear. Andy Warhol was a very unique fellow. Also, his one thing that people remember Andy Warhol from was his notable claim that everybody has 15 minutes of fame. Everybody. You, me, the gardener, the next door neighbor, the guy that delivers your mail. Everybody, sooner or later in your life, will have 15 minutes of fame. The question is, and I don't mean to get too deep on this, the question is, what are you going to do with that 15 minutes of fame? The next one that we have is a Marilyn Monroe Dunny, which right off the bat probably is my favorite so far. There's Andy Warhol's signature on the back. It seems so off-putting, the fact that the mouth is down by the stomach, but although the nose, the nose of Marilyn also slightly gives us a mouth in the Dunny. It's a nice touch. The head again rotates, but it does slightly throw off the the overall look of Marilyn Monroe when you start turning the head. Nice looking Dunny though. Put that one right there. Try not to knock the other ones over either in the process spot. Let's open up the next box. By the way, while we were going through this and Spot was talking, you may or may not have noticed we've already gone through one row. That's the art of captivating the audience. The audience doesn't even know that time is flying. We could be here for the next four and a half hours. You may not even know it. You might think, wow, I thought we were only here for two and a half minutes. No, we weren't. We were here for the last 45 hours. There is another, uh, there's another Andy Warhol Dunny. And there is another variation to the Andy Warhol, which hopefully we get, which will be a slight more pinkish colored uh, paint scheme. Just bear with me. I just want to make sure these all stand up properly. We are now coming down to the wire, as they say, for the next row of Dunnies. Opening up the second last box. Let's see which one we get. And we got ourselves another Marilyn Monroe. A lot of the times with the Dunnies, too, the Dunnies, you get a neutral body, the Dunny body, the, the famous Dunny body, and then simply artists will design a print over top of that. So if you're a big collector of the Dunny series, you'll probably would have had a whole ton of the collection consisting of the same similar mold and just different artist designs on top of that. It's a really successful uh, line for Kid Robot. They've done that actually with a couple of their different lines too, where it's one consistent vinyl mold and they've changed the color scheme to it. The next one we have is the television set. That's not the actual name of this design, but on the back it says, in the future, ah, see, there we go. In the future, everybody will be world famous for 15 minutes quote Andy Warhol. I could certainly pose this to you. Maybe some of, some would want to answer, some don't. Have you ever had a moment of fame? 15 minutes of fame? Anybody down below? You can let me know. You can let me know. Sooner or later, and you might say to yourself, well, hey, Spot, I haven't been world famous. Yeah, but you know what? It depends also where fame comes from. You might not even realize that you're famous or that you had that 15 minutes until that 15 minutes has passed. And then you just sometimes sit down. You think to yourself, wow, I just had 15 minutes of fame. Not only was Andy Warhol six, uh, correct about that, but so was Spot. 
he even said that? And I wasn't even paying attention. If you are still paying attention, though, we have the other Andy Warhol. Now, this one doesn't... Let me show you the comparison between the two. The glasses, the rims or the frames of the glasses is a little more translucent. So you only really see more of the lenses. And the coloring is almost more of a camouflage. It also reminds me of orange or uh, rainbow sherbet. Oh, I love rainbow sherbet. Especially on a hot summer day. I tell you, that hits the... The next box, we are almost... Well, we had 20. We have 12 left. We've already we've already surpassed the halfway mark. And you know why? Captivating the audience. Hopefully, that's hopefully what we've been doing or I've been doing this time. The next one we have is also one of the rare ones. Let's flip around the box here. This one was one in every 40, and luckily we got it in this box. This is the gold variant variation of the Marilyn. Just want to adjust the head. There we go. There's the regular Marilyn. There's the gold Marilyn together, side by side. Very, very cool. Put those right there. Yes, yeah, Spot has himself a rather interesting, robust collection of kid robot stuff. I mean, not only are they known for the dunnies that we're looking at right now, but of course they cover a lot of lines as well. They South Park, we had a look at the Looney Tunes, The Simpsons, one of the more notable ones, The Simpsons. And the next one we, the next one we have is the banana. Go banana! Down below there's the Andy Warhol signature on the back. A slightly off-colored banana. I like this one because it's uh, it's so vacant of color. Just primarily, it has the white, and then you've got this the starkness of the straight yellow banana running down the front. Something also I didn't mention, and I should have mentioned this, there is posability also in the arms. I know I said there was only posability in the head, but there is technically posability in the arms too. They're just not as much, mind you, but there is posability there as well, just in case you were wondering. All right, so now we are down to the last 10. That's not 100% true. We, we're looking at the 11th right now. But after that, we have 10 to go. And the 11th last box, which really doesn't make, amount to anything when you say it like that. The 11th last box gives us, once again, the television set dunny or the television screen dunny. Usually this is when like signal is lost or a television station is down, you might get this. I think I think I recall seeing this more so when I was younger than nowadays. You don't see this as much anymore. For for me though, you you'd always flip back on the remote control. You get past you get to the point where it's like the last station on your set. For me it was like channel three, then it was channel two. And then I think when you went back after that, you would get this screen here. At least that was for me. It may not be for you, but that was for me. All right, let's go ahead and open up. We're down like to the last 10 of these now. If you are wondering where you can find these, I would say your best bet is your comic book store. If you do not see them in your comic book store, go ahead, go up to the front, go ask the guy that's there. Say, excuse me, excuse me, so sorry to bother you. Would you be able to order in the Kid Robot Andy Warhol Dunny series? And he would say, I would love to do that. Thank you very much. And then you could say, thank you. This is a great establishment that you have here. So we have a slight variation of that banana. It's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit bigger, obviously, across the face here. This one's just running down the side of the face. We've got Andy Warhol there. The smaller, off-colored banana on the back there. I would find this one very appealing. Spots here all day. We'll put that right there. All right, let's open up the last. Oh, I almost did that without a knife. I don't know how. I could have done that, but I would have just destroyed the box. I don't want to do that. Let's open up this box now. Treated once again to the foil bag. And the one we got inside is a double to the one that we just had a look at. 
If you're new to this video, how is that possible? But if you are new to this video, there is possibility to these figures. They have arms and head articulation, which is a slight correction to what I initially said where I said it was only the head. That was me being wrong. Got the seal on the next box. You hear that noise, that's just because I'm throwing the boxes onto the floor. I will pick them up afterwards. It's one of the responsibilities of being an adult, you have to clean up your own messes. It's not fun at times, I know. I know it's not fun, but you still have to clean up. You have to be responsible. There's the other Brillo soap pad version to this one that we had here. I like the white one, the white and the red, which I guess is a more traditional coloring. This is the more variant uh, Andy Warhol color. As again, he takes the same similar print and changes around the color. There's the two right there. I think this might be one of my favorites. Okay. Oh, we just knocked them all over like dominoes. Let's go ahead and get the next box opened up here. I did. I knocked everything over in my carelessness. I wasn't overly careless. I, it wasn't like I just went, eh, but I, it was a little on the careless side that everything got knocked over. Let's do a quick tally, shall we, to break up the, the pacing here. We did get ourselves... We didn't get this one yet. We had this one. We had this one. We didn't get the money one yet. And we didn't get the camouflage rainbow sherbet colored one down below. But I'll, So we're missing this one, this one, and this one of that side. On the flip end of it, we haven't gotten this one yet. And we haven't gotten... Oh, we did get this one. So we're only missing... Let's see here. One, two, three, four, four. So not bad. Four left. Five boxes left. We could technically do this. My hope remains constant. And the next bag gives us, gives us another Brillo soap pads. Dunny there. What you guys could also do too, let me know your 15 minutes of fame if you've ever had it, great or small short or tall. And also let me know which is your favorite dunny from the ones that we're looking at in this video. Like which is your personal favorite? Don't worry, don't worry. Spot, I don't remember, don't worry. It's okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and look at the other ones when we've finished off. And this one gives us the camouflage or rainbow sherbet colored dunny. Andy Warhol on the front, no Nothing visible on the back there. This one is tasty to me for all the wrong reasons. I'm looking at it, I'm just thinking, it's a hot day. It's hot in this filming environment right now. I could really go with some orange or rainbow sherbet. That is delicious. Of course, I could really go for ice cream as well, but ice cream sometimes on a hot day, sometimes you want something cooler, something more refreshing something made with fruit juice, sherbet is the way to go. And there's different variations of sherbet as well. This is the third last box, by the way. And this gives us... Now this one is kind of a, a flower motif. You can see the greenery of the flowers and then the bloomed flowers, one in the leg, one further up by the ear. Flip it around to the back. Andy Warhol's signature there. I like this one a lot too. The contrast of the green to the black is very nice. Put that right there. Two boxes left, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Wait, am I on trial? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is the last two. Might I show you, might I bring your attention to Exhibit A, Exhibit A being this one, Exhibit B being this one right here. Exhibit A gives us, oh, and I just dropped my knife. Hold on one second. Spot has retrieved his knife. Do be careful when wielding knives. You see how I got a little reckless there? I'm joking around about court and jury, Exhibit A, Exhibit B, and what do I do? I drop my knife. We'll just put that right there, completely out of harm's way, and by harm's way, I mean my harm. There is the other Campbell's soup can. Where is the other one? Here's the other one right here. 
the pink, and the blue and purple. I really like this one. I like this one, but I think I like this one a little bit more. The yellow certainly pops as well. I like the contrasting of the blue in the tomato, which matches the color of the top of the head there, which also was the same with this one too. Very cool. Well, there you go, guys. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. We can pack up shop. Sorry, what? Yes, there is one more. Oh, not getting anything past you guys. There's one more. Let's open up the last box. Collectible object. The new Andy Warhol. New Andy Warhol Dunny series. This is what we were looking at in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy these videos in, in general. Thank you so, so much for watching. It does make Spot feel good inside. Almost makes me feel as good as when I'm having some orange sugar. Or, oh, nice. I cut off my thought. I was going to say rainbow sherbet as well. But I cut off my thought when I was approached by this. A beautiful specimen. In fact, let's do just a quick check once again. Yes, I do believe we did get all of them. We did get all of them, even though it's one of 40. We successfully caught the entire set. I think that deserves a round of applause. I just did it in my head. Round of applause in Spot's head. I really like this one. The blue and then the pop. It's kind of like a ketchup red. More like an orangey red. That is very nice. Still has the head articulation, arm articulation. But I love that color. I love that blue. Very, very nice. All right, so let's rewind. Let's rewind and have a look at all the ones that we had a look at in this set release as we were again looking at the case of Andy Warhol Dunny series. Starting from back and working our way forward and in no particular order, we got the dollar dollar money money uh, Dunny. Put that one right there. We got ourselves a banana. Go banana! Got a banana Dunny. For those who enjoy their bananas a little bit larger, there's a banana that almost stretches the full length full width at least of the dunny got that one pardon my pardon my arm by the way we got the campbell's soup in two different variations the red and the blue i think my favorite being the blue uh we got the television set screen i don't know if you would call it that signal lost screen got that one we got two different variations of andy warhol as a dunny I like this one, I think, a little bit more than this one. So we got those two. By the way, also, while we're doing this, let me also share with you my favorites. My favorite is this one, the Campbell's. I think my all-time favorite is probably this one here. And I also really like the Andy Warhol. Now you know. Let's resume. Let's resume. We also got ourselves the flower... Dunny. That's not the correct name for it, but that's just what we're going to call it. We got the camouflaged Dunny. Whoops. Got the camouflaged Dunny. We had the two variations of the Maryland Dunny, which was also one of my favorites. This one right here. So those are my top four so far. And the gold. Let's not forget also the gold Maryland. Got those. Oh, try not to knock everything over. And then finally... We also got ourselves the two versions of the Brillo, which is also, this one's my favorite too. So top five, that, that this one is my fifth. Not in necessarily that order, but this is one of my top five. There you go, guys. Again, if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, I would say get into your car, a bus, a llama, anything that can get you to a comic book store, because that's probably your best bet, is to get these at your local comic book store. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the brand new, it is brand new, new Kid Robot Andy Warhol Dunny series. And as always on this channel, we had a look at an entire case. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Spot's got more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.